Welcome back to a new episode of linuxmuster.net. My name is Stefan from openschoolsolutions.org and today we're going to talk about PostSync. PostSync is a feature of Limbo where you can manage different computers with different configurations but just one master image. So how does it work? Here we are in our Linux Muster server and we're going to install a new package. It's called Linux Muster Client Server Tools and I've already installed it on the computer. So when we install this package, we find our PostSync file or PostSync script under userlib in Linux Muster Client Server Tools and we will copy that script to our Limbo folder. So we copy userlib and then Linux Muster client server tools and then generic dot posting we copy it to our limbo folder under srv slash limbo and here is also our xubuntu image xubuntu loop and we call xubuntu dot post sync okay now we're going to edit this file srv limbo xubuntu dot loop and then posting and here we have patch class here we have patch class and just right now it's just dummy patch class and we change it to something more specific um, you can choose a name whatever you like but we just keep it simple and name it the same like our image Xubuntu exit and save and now we're going to create a new directory mkdir dash p and then in our in our limbo folder so as we limbo we create a new folder it's called Linux muster client and here we create a new folder and that is in, the name of this folder is the same like our patch class so we choose Xubuntu so the way we put a uh, the folder here with the name Xubuntu and then we create another folder, common. Okay, just, just just change directory to this folder. Limbo, Linux Muster Client, and then Xubuntu. Okay, right now we have just the common folder. And the posting script is just a script that copies all the files from this folder to our clients. So every file that is inside the common folder will be copied to all of our clients. But we can create other folders too, like um, folders for every room. So we have one room, R100. And if we put files in this folder here, room 100, every files inside this folder will just be copied to clients that are also in this room. And we can even make uh, folders for just a specific client, for example, PC01. And all the files inside this folder will be copied to the just this client, so, so the R100 PC01, so to our first client. So we have different options depending on what we want to do. In our example here, we want to be able to log in from our server with our root user to the clients with SSH. So we need to create some folders again. mkdir uh, dash p and then inside the common folder. And now inside the common folder, we need to create the same folder structure like on the client. So we have, we need to put our sh key under root dot sh. So same on every Linux client. And we need to create the same folder structure here in our posting folders. Okay. And now this is just a folder, but we have to put the key in a specific file. So we um, just grab our key, it's under root.sha, and then we choose one of our public keys here, uh, rsa.pub, and we put this under in our posting folder, common root, and then dot sh, and the file name has to be authorized keys. Okay. Now we have this file here under common root 
dot ssh and we can see here's our authorized keys file that we need so that we're able to log in as root user on our clients okay so i forgot one thing we uh, need to change permissions of our post and script so i'll just change this to 644 under sre limbo uh, dot loop dot posting so the permissions are correct so limbo can read the file and sync the files okay so now we have everything in place now we're going back to our first client and we just press this yellow sync button here and now first we'll look for a new image there is no new image so it will sync the image from the cache so it resets the computer actually and after this is done it will check the posting folders on the server copy all the files on the client and then the post sync script will take care of the rest okay as this is syncing here um, let me explain something more if we go back to our posting folder as a limbo linux muster client and then ubuntu the order um, how the post and script check the files is first it will look at the common script and applies all the files to our clients later it goes to different rooms and check if there are some changes there and applies the changes and uh, at the last it will go here to this if we have a folder for our specific client check if there are files and then copy them to the client computer so from common to the room and then if there's a folder for a specific client it will um, copy the files from this folder too okay let's go back here to our first client and see sync, uh, sync is still running so we have to wait until this is done sync is done now it will reboot our client our first client is booted up and now let's check if we can log in from our server so sh r100 pc01 and here we go now we are logged in on our client root at r100 pc01 and we can check if the file is there so root.sh and here we can see here's also our authorized keys file that we put in our posting folder it got copied here to our client okay let's log out and we can do the same with our second client just press this yellow button here and then it syncs our posting files to this client too okay one more thing i'd like to show you if here in our uh, let's clear this here in our uh, posting folder we can create an additional folder for example up here and then common we can create a po folder of the name post sync dot d and every file we put here under common post sync dot d um, we can put here scripts for example to change permission of files we can put other scripts here to change different configuration files to replace some options whatever and this is just another option you can do um, you can put this posting d folder in every our posting folders like common or the room folder or a specific client folder just put a folder of the name posting.d and our posting script will look for this folder and if there are any shell scripts inside this folder it will run them after it copies the file to this client okay let's check if our second client is done not yet okay posting is done too here sync is finished and now it reboots this client too our second client is also booted now let's go and check if we can log in to sh 100 pc02 and here we go so that's it for today we learned about posting a feature of limbo that helps a lot to manage your school computers with different configurations but just one master image so it's easy you maintain one image but still be able to have different com configurations on your computers 
laptops, whatever, students, teachers, primary school computers, wherever you need a different configuration, you can do this with PostSync. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos about open source software that you can use in your school.